Hey guys, Super Tentabuff here. Um, sorry it's been a long time, um, but I've been very busy. Um, I've been working on my iPhone apps, um, videos for my YouTube channel, um, and just lots of other things I've been working on, so I haven't been able to upload much to YouTube within the last month. Um, however, I am pleased to say that I have been working on lots of new videos, and over the next few weeks I'll be uploading them to my YouTube channel. So today I'm here with an Exco tutorial. And this is going to be a tutorial um, showing you how to, well, uh, specifically for Xcode 4 anyway, uh, showing you how to implement a framework into your iPhone application. Um, it's a very simple tutorial, but the reason I'm making it um, is not because the fact that, well, I mean, literally this is just going to take you a few seconds to do, but th the point is that in Xcode 4, the task of simply adding a framework to your iOS application has been made a lot harder. Now, it's a, a little bit weird if you're new to Xcode 4, um, but with this video, I'll show you how you can imp implement frameworks, which of course is very important to you know all iOS developers. You know, most kind of features you want to implement into your um, iOS application will need some kind of framework, um, which is built in to iOS. So let's start a view-based application. Uh, let's just call this frame framework, and we're going to save it. Oh, hang on a sec. Uh, let's put this as iPhone, okay, and save it on the desktop. Or documents as it is, whatever. All right. So as I said, frameworks is or, or a framework file is something which is necessary for virtually every iOS developer. You know, in the end of the day, in some shape or form, you're going to need some kind of framework uh, for a certain feature to work in your iOS application. So that's why I'm making this tutorial because a lot of people um, have uh, sort of submitted questions to me via uh, YouTube. Um, and they just say, you know, they can't find how to add a framework to your iOS application. Now, it's really weird because in Xcode 3 and earlier, this was such a simple task. It literally just took a few seconds and, um, you know, it, it was so much easier to find, especially if you're, you know, you're a new iOS developer. It was much easier to, much easier to add a framework. Um, now they changed the position of where uh, the frameworks are located and how you add one. It's a bit weird, but... Uh, I'm going to show you how to do so. So basically, before we have this frameworks folder in the left-hand side of Xcode here, which we still have now, but before, if we wanted to add a framework, we would right-click on this folder, and there would be like an add button or something, and we would add framework. Well, this time it's changed. So basically, this time what you do is you select your project in the left-hand menu here. Then on the right-hand side, you get this menu here with your plist file and so on. Then we just come over to build phases, and under build phases we get four main tabs. Now the, now the main tab we want to look at here for frameworks is link binary with libraries. And if you just open this tab up, you'll see you have access to all your frameworks. And we also have a plus and minus button to remove and add certain frameworks. So here we can click the plus button, we get a list of all the frameworks, and we can add in as many frameworks as we want. So just for the sake of this video, I'm just going to add the uh, let's add the Accelerate framework. So you can see now this framework's been added. It's under here. Now before, what you would do is uh, you'd probably drag the framework uh, to your frameworks folder. Uh, this time, what it does is it adds the frameworks to your um, Xcode project, obviously, um, but it doesn't put it under the frameworks folder. It put, it puts it under the main project menu here. Now it doesn't really matter where it puts it because these aren't actual folders; they're just groups. Um, so, you know, the groups to help you organize your files for your application. But I like to, um, you know, I like to be organized when I'm developing my iOS applications. So a little tip would be just to drag this down into your frameworks folder and add it there. And that's it, guys. You've added, you've successfully added a framework to your iOS application. And now we can obviously go into, you know, your .h and your .m file and... You know, add in the necessary code, import your framework, and use the necessary uh, features from that framework that you need. Well, there we have it, guys. That's how you can add a framework into your iOS application using Xcode 4. Um, I hope this video has helped, uh, especially those who have asked me this question, because I've received it a lot of times on YouTube now. Um, so I thought I'd go ahead and make this tutorial. Um, now I'd just quickly like to talk about my upcoming Xcode tutorials. Um, I've been remaking a lot of my previous Xcode tutorials, okay? Um, especially my most you know, highly requested one, which is how to add iAds into your application. 
um, how to make a tab bar iOS application, I'm going to be remaking that. How to add icons and splash screens to your application, I'm going to be remaking that. And there's probably going to be a few other tutorials which I'm going to be remaking um, specifically for the latest version of Xcode, which in this case is Xcode 4. Um, so that's just to keep you guys up to date. And then after I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and make more new tutorials. Now, lastly, one request I've also had is um, how to make an RSS application. Um, I'm going to be working on that. Um, I'm probably going to make a few different videos of how you can implement RSS into your application. You know, there are several ways, easy ways, um, but not necessarily as good, and you know, very hard ways which take a long time, but then give you a lot more advantages uh, in terms of viewing the RSS, sharing the news, and so on. So that's all upcoming on my YouTube channel. As well as that, I've also been working on lots of um, iPhone and iPad app reviews. Um, I've got reviews from all sorts of different interesting apps, some which are free and some which cost money. Um, so stay tuned for them. Um, and I'm also planning a giveaway because I've said this before, but I haven't managed to really do a proper giveaway. So I'm trying to you know, get some good things, in, including app codes and so on for iTunes. Um, so that's also coming on my channel later this year. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Hope it's helped, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.